We've seen a rise in the rogue light genre over the last few years, with the likes of Binding of Isaac and Enter the Gungeon. And there's a new one called Neuro Voider now available on the PlayStation 4. But does this game end up blasting its way to the top, or is it just a mechanical mess? In Neuro Voider, you're controlling a small robot blasting his way through many different levels and taking out other robots, epic bosses every five levels, while gaining all sorts of randomly generated equipment and going through randomly generated levels. When you begin the game, you get to select from one of three different classes, and these have some benefits and downsides to them, like increased defense or increased speed, as well as the abilities that you'll be able to use. All the items you'll be gathering fit into one of these different classes, so you have to make sure that you're that class in order to use certain items, though you can switch at any time between the different classes, you just have to have a build that fits with that particular class. You have two weapons at your disposal at all times. You have a left and a right, basically using the L2 or the R2 buttons. And the game is very much a twin stick shooter where you have to aim with the right stick and then you're firing with those two shoulder buttons. What's really cool is between levels, you get to select what is the next level you want to take on. You get a choice of three randomly selected ones, and they tell you how big the level is, how many of the elite guards are going to be involved, and what type of loot you're going to potentially be getting. You then select which one you want to go, and then go into that level and get to choose again until you make it to a boss level. The boss levels are set at every five until you get to the end of the game at level 20, though the game does keep going, and you can go back through cycles if you want to with the increased difficulty that ends up building up. The aesthetic of the game in general, of course, has a retro feel to it, though I do like the look of the robots, and I find it cool that you get to add all the pieces and parts to your robot, changing up its appearance. Reminds me a little bit of the classic Sega Genesis game Cyborg Justice in that way. There's a handful of different level themes as well, though I did see the same ones repeated, and a lot of the same level designs overall. I was hoping for maybe a bit more variety or a bit more themes as I made it farther in, though it didn't end up taking away anything from the game. Being someone that plays a lot of twin stick shooters, the aiming is pretty precise. Whenever I was able to aim at enemies, even from ones across the screen, I was able to usually hit my target, even in a frantic free-for-all with a lot of robots going at once. The game has a good variety to its weapons, and every weapon you're getting will have a different amount of damage they do, as well as take a different amount of ammo. Basically, you run out of ammo, you'll have to reload your overheat, or you can just use a little bit of it and let it instantly recharge so you don't have to wait a long time for that ammo to become replenished. The guns all range from shotguns, machine guns, rail guns, grenade launchers, rocket launchers, flamethrowers, and a bunch of other types. You can also spend money in order to upgrade each of the weapons as well, bringing them out to their full potential. This is all done between the levels, where you get to select your guns as well as your other equipment that will increase your health, the amount of the ammo you have, and your overall speed, as well as you kind of get the test out thing. You can always look at a gun and see what its firing rate is by holding R2 on it, and I think this is a great feature. That way you don't end up selecting a gun that you're not really going to be happy with going into the next level. You can also spend your money on refilling your health between the levels, or you can make a random item. Select which of the categories you want, and then hit go, and hopefully you end up getting something that's actually halfway decent. While initially the game seems rather easy to get into, it ramps up in difficulty the farther you make it in, with much tougher enemies to deal with, and especially the boss encounters. These things can get frantic as all heck, with big giant bombs going off, wiping out your character's health in a matter of moments. And of course, if you end up dying, you're going to have to start over from the beginning. From the technical side of things, the game ran smoothly, I didn't run into major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. And I have to say, the soundtrack is awesome. This is the kind of music I would definitely listen to outside the game. In fact, even if you don't check out this game, I highly recommend looking up the soundtrack. Neuro Voider is available now on the PlayStation 4 for $13.99. It features a full trophy list, including a Platinum. If you're someone who gets into this genre, you can easily get addicted and sink plenty of hours into it. This is one of my favorites of this type of game I played in recent memory, and I'm going to be giving it an 8 out of 10. But anyway guys, that's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course I hope you enjoy.